rest my head on the flying floor. There is no hour of reprieve. Four minutes, my blank, my disease. Now, nothing is discovered. Now, not even born. Pulsing darkness is great. Resisting hyper sound forever. Resisting hyper sound forever. Mirrored shards flying. Sphere is a perfect tormented shell around me. The sphere. I should be audible now, so um, hello and welcome to uh, Neo Futurist TV. Uh, I am, of course, your host, Derek Anthony Williams, aka The Futurist, though tonight, obviously pretending to be Daniel Dax as best I can. Uh, right, I should probably um, introduce my guest now, as I will now transition into uh, another mode of um, screen presentation, as I'm joined by Rachel Dark of um, Guru Honey Badger, who will be joining me uh, for a gig in Leeds on the 21st of May, so uh, she's now visible on screen, so uh, welcome Rachel. Uh, you need to unmute yourself as well. But yes, I yes. know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that old BA. All right. <laughs> hello, hey, hey, how hello, you hello, doing? hello. It's a, a pleasure to uh, finally connect after uh, expertly failing the other day with um, oh, phones <laughs> in other rooms. I'm and so impressed forth. with your hairdo today. So Daniel Dax, it is. Yes, Daniel Dax. Daniel Dax tonight. Where's your Cruella de Vil? Obviously. <laughs> Uh, I'm not a massive fan of Corona to Bill, though, to be honest with you, because I love animals and who does Yeah, animals. but I mean, uh, the modern Cruella de Vil's fine with animals, you know, it's... Uh, and Guru Honey Badger, Honey yes. Badgers don't care. Yes. Um, so, black and, and white. 
Yeah, anyway, I need to find out what Guru Honey Badger is all about then, because, you know, it's uh, uh, something I've uh, not encountered so far. So, um, look at you. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know of Honey Badgers okay. and I know of Gurus, but I've never known them to be combined. So tell me all well, about it. This is something which uh, came about uh, just as we were being locked down. And um, my good friend, uh, Terry McClay, uh, out of the sex gang children, um, said to me, here you go, here's a load of tracks, do what the what, what you want with them, basically. So a year later when we were allowed out a bit better, and I, I, could, I, could, I could work on a, a studio, um, um, I used to work in a, a shop called Rock and Roll Rescue in Camden, Next I know to because uh, yes, yes. I'm coming from London. Um, You're from London, we next door to the Dublin Castle, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Which I did that. do a gig, a solo gig for Guru and Badger back in January. Uh, so I work, I, I worked there, and uh, the guy Scarlett, who used to do the roadie for Susie and the Banshees, helped me uh, mix the tracks. Uh, so they're on Reverb Nation. They're a little bit rusty around the edges, but they've got a rawness about them, and they're bonkers. Yeah, and um that um terry who knows sarah who you know you know sarah wilson yes yes uh, no, from no. songs of praise no many years uh, now. got her her roped in roped sarah in good at sarah she's a great girl she's fabulous she definitely. Work bass tracks over them um and that's the that's the story so far really so, so how does um guru honey badger connect with burlesque then <laughs> well, um, I'm a burlesque artist, and that's my main, that's my bread and butter, that's what I do in London. Um, and I infuse the performances, because they're very theatrical. We with like the theatrical burlesque. around here, I don't know whether you'd noticed at all. <laughs> I love it. Uh, it's fantastic, it just takes you away, it's just another, it's just another dimension. <laughs> You know, it's not the mundane, it's something else. It's out there, it's your imagination. You can make what you want of it. Um, and I just can't believe that that's come out of all our schools. And it's come <laughs> out, it's, it's something, you know. <laughs> so, so how did you, when uh, did you sort of find that sort of uh, desire to get into burlesque? I mean, uh, what was it? What was the moment that sort of made you think, yeah, that that's something i want to be involved in my auntie was a stripper and also my uncle was a stripper as well gay stripper because they used to go in the manchester gay village a lot so it's, it's in the family to be honest with you i've been doing it a long time i've life modeled for 20 six 27 months. years now <laughs> <laughs> i'm not showing my age now <laughs> someone said to me oh you only look 36 mm, um, <laughs> What you've got? You've got you've got children. I'm like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm I'm uh, perhaps a little older than many people think myself, but we won't go into that. Um, yeah. So uh, basically, two thousand years old. Yes. I uh, do not forsake me, for I am one thousand years old. Who knows what track <laughs> that is? Um, uh, well. It's, <laughs> who or rather who made that anyway so yeah so um what do you think it is about that uh burlesque that's so exciting and and, and the thing is there's someone i know don't suppose you have met her at all sapphira uh from australia who lives in london now who has sort of found sapphira, what, um, sapphira the girl who knows richard branson uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, and yes. It's been on radio and so forth recently, and um, uh, so, so burlesque. Very savvy, had, very yeah, savvy, yeah. Richard Branson. Uh, uh, yes, definitely. I mean, uh, she... <laughs> if I had the savviness, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I don't know. I could, I, would, I, I make change. I'm not savvy like that. I'm not a business person, and a lot of artists aren't business people. That's how we are. We think creatively, and businesses another dimension business people 
I mean, I'm I'm both a business person to make a living and I'm an artist, but uh, I'm not sure I successfully combine the two. But uh, two separate <laughs> worlds for me, I'm afraid. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I think. Uh, I think she's like written a bus something a uh, book something like burlesque or bust or something and um oh, uh, lo- there's loads of books out on burlesque my favorite's joe weldon the new york school of burlesque I, I performed in new york and uh love traveling with it it's taken me a lot of places um she's my favorite she's a sex worker they call them sex workers yeah. now, so it's great love it great lady but yeah hats off to anybody who does it because it's we still get a lot of um hate about it and people don't understand why we do it and they get the wrong idea it's empowering yeah anyone I mean, that's can do what, it um, anyone can do it i've heard elsewhere that it can be a great sort of asset to mental health uh, have you ever found that sort of maybe like by doing burlesque it sort of somehow helps you sort of maybe process things in in life or that sort of thing you know sort of maybe i mean uh, I, i'd say that like for me being yeah. free being free <laughs> you want to be uh, free it, yeah it all depends on the audience and if you if you've got because things are all right but occasionally you will get like um a, you know a bad experience at a theater there's not you know the security have let you down or i've actually personally been um, attacked three times in uh, the west end uh, yeah. but this is about five years ago and it was all in the space of a very short time um outside the venues um so it's not there's a risk there's risk to be taken and then there's the great the rewards from it as well because i've got i've got to great friends who we perform with a lot and there's a, a real nice community about it but also there is the aspect of people should be building each other up where you know there's still the elements of people knocking each other down it's very competitive in london whereas up up north um and other places people seem a lot more supportive don't get me wrong it is supportive here but it can be, it could be overwhelming for someone who's younger and just starting out. I'm a good person to talk to if, if you know anybody who needs a guru, advice. perhaps. Great. <laughs> You're thinking of doing it yourself? I know, I'm, I, I, I'm sort of practically known uh, stripping on stage, but perhaps. Um, I it, can't it, wait. It's, I mean, the thing <laughs> is that the clothes mostly come off usually on stage anyway, but perhaps, uh, uh, I mean, obviously being of the more male persuasion, uh, it's more socially acceptable to do so and less risky to be stripped to the waist. But, you know, there you go. Um, but, um so what would you say to people who were maybe a little bit uh, uh, but uh, it's hard to say uh, sort of feel a bit negatively toward burlesque or something you know that, that have the negative perceptions of it all is there anything you can say to convince people that there is more convince. to it than just taking <laughs> clothes off to be honest with you, my love, I I've sort of got to the point where you don't care. You can't please every <laughs> you can't please everybody. And I have friends, old friends from when I was very little, and I've tried to get them involved online. So, uh, sometimes I do stuff online, and uh, they just just not understood it. And it's just like you know, that's their their cup of tea. That's what they want to do. How their life is. You've got to accept people for how they are, and if they don't accept you, then yeah, yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, sorry, you love me for who I am. If you don't, then tough. <laughs> so, uh, what is your? Uh, do you have like a particular angle to the burlesque that you do? Is there any sort of essence that sort of runs through all your performances? Okay, well, I have a few alter egos. <laughs> I have Marquise the Dark, uh, which is my goth, gothy, more gothy dark side, uh, who likes to do more fetishy goth acts. Mm-hmm. So it's all dark, dark. It's great. Love it. 
it's my she's my favorite <laughs> but like marquisa is actually part of my name as well yeah rachel marquisa dart that's my real name i don't get marquisa out very often though <laughs> i'd like to get her out more and the other ones, Madam Crumpet. Madam Crumpet's more tongue and cheek, uh, more comedy. Um, I'm, I've been likened to um, no, no, not Nora Batty. I was going to say Ilda <laughs> Ogden on Batty. Um, Ilda Ogden on Batty. <laughs> Dressed in a giant crumpet. So what? So that's me. <laughs> what's uh, what's going to be the uh, persona alongside Guru Honey Badger then? Well, it's, it'd be uh, Marquis Dark. It won't be um, going Madame to be more more serious. Um, uh, <laughs> oh no! I'll, 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 yeah. I'll handle the Madame Crumpet stuff then. then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, with Marquise the Dark, with the camp with covers, Marquise I love Dark. to do. You know. <laughs> oh, I love crumpets. Um, <laughs> what about pikelets? Yeah, so- Oh yeah, I I um I did uh, with the troupe, Madame Crumpet. We went, we did uh, a British Bake Off. We uh, <laughs> attended the uh, the extra slice with your brand, and we all, we all did a bit of baking. And mine, mine was pikelets. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's uh, it, so. Uh, can you point to uh, going to the music side of things? Point to some maybe musical influences or anything that you might sound alike or uh, anything like that I mean obviously well, we all tend so. to be unique special my, individuals my vocal, my vocal in the past because I've, I've sung in several other like ensembles uh, it's been like Patti Smith a bit of Susie Sue and then people have gone oh there's bits of specimen in there and virgin prunes i'm going yes. yeah you're quite keen on the virgin <laughs> prunes you said so uh you've got video a few videos on youtube is there any you think would be a good um uh track to play or anything from the uh, youtube videos monkey oh uh monkey skull i'd say it's a look very manic let me just yeah, see monkey skull monkey, monkey skull, skull. Yeah. Let me see if I can grab that one and uh, uh, I'll play that. So anyway, yeah, basically we're going that to... I was doing lockdown there and it was just like literally me on the phone with basic stuff. But I, I love being creative, so it's, it's all good stuff. And so one last thing, perhaps. What's the main reason for people to come and witness the Guru Honey Badger performance in Leeds then? Well, you don't know what you're getting, do you? It's going to be <laughs> something surprise. exciting, surprising and different, you think? It's, yes, definitely. Uh, if you like out the alternative scene, you want to uh, see a new band um, and experience a bit of burlesque, a bit of theatre and with the Jam Doyle bands as well, come on. Um, that's all good stuff and you've got to see us. Because I, I don't play that often because I'm doing all my other projects and stuff. So I, this is a good thing. So come and see us, yeah. Well, we I certainly will. I know that much. But then I guess uh, I'm kind of contractually obliged to, really, aren't I? But, <laughs> but it, it sounds like it's going to be something really interesting and exciting. And I look forward to seeing what you've got to do. But anyway uh, i know you said your time was a little bit limited so i'll let you get on with things that you've Gotta got get on to... my broomstick yeah get flying off around london on off your broomstick. So high, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah so anyway thanks for joining me for the chat lovely to uh Thank finally you. communicate i, I will in see real you time. soon look forward yes, to you come on, uh, the, on the 21st guys Everybody, so we week and a half away so come along come along right, right. okay so uh nice Right, Thank let's uh, get that. Um, um, uh, right, let's get that uh, video played. Then, shall we? Um, where's it gone? Uh, here we are. So this will be uh, Guru Honey Badger with Monkey Skull. Rising, 
Your disguise Better you act There's no surprise He's glowing Ever knowing Watch the monkeys go Monkey, monkey, monkey star He's fantastic and made of plastic get things working again so that was uh, Guru Honey Badger with uh, Monkey Skull and yes you can come and see what the exciting live performance will be like and at the request of um, uh, Rachel I'm going to now play for you Pagan Love Song by the Virgin Prunes so um, let's uh, get on with that then Once I get the window up again, right, there we go. Virgin Prunes ending there. 
hopefully that will disappear now yeah there, that's gone uh, you see that uh, is that it no that's the way um, it's difficult on this webcam you uh, see uh, that, that there yes that there um, that the snake festival in September I'm organizing as many many people know so let's hear some of the bands that are involved in that shall we uh, that sounds like a good plan to me so let's kick off with um, who shall I pick um, Zeitgeist Zero have got a new video out this is Plastic Diamonds by Zeitgeist Zero and they're the headliners on the Friday night Let's uh, keep the snake festival thing there. Just so people know that's happening. Right, I'll shut up now and you can enjoy the video. Thank you. 
Right, uh, so Zeitgeist Zero Plastic Diamonds. They've been around a few years and they have a marvellous show in Whitby recently where they headlined and had an absolute sellout night. So that's uh, something you've got coming to the Snake Festival in Cleethorpes. Where's Cleethorpes, in case you don't know? It's uh, sort of on the bottom, the southern bank of the uh, Humber Estuary, you know, that, that bit in the... Uh, bit of Great Britain where there's like a, a slice out of it halfway up on the right yeah the east uh, well it's that bit there but it's sort of right on the edge so it's it's kind of a seaside and it's a really lovely place and uh, uh, yeah we're gonna have a weekend of nice uh, stuff happening there um, right uh, I'm going a bit slow so I wonder if I should like bring up zoom again does it seem to work better on zoom rather than direct from the video capture device um so i'll see if i can do that because you don't want jerky derrick do you um uh, let's see if that that work, that seems to work better for some reason i don't know why it used to work a lot better but anyway um so yeah zeitgeist zero very very popular band from uh, west yorkshire uh who else shall we have on now shall we have byronic sex and exile Byronic sets and that are very good, aren't they? Um, so uh, seems like a good idea to have Byronic sex and exile next, don't you think? Um, yeah, I think I'm set up to play that, so I will. Uh, right, okay, Byronic sex and exile, your name on the wind.
and back to me in the room again. So uh, that Byronic sex in exile, absolutely going great guns uh, these days. Absolute brilliant performer, uh, absolute epitome of goth really in so many ways. Will be joining us on the fabulous Saturday of the festival, uh, the main event if you like. But, uh, both of them are the main event. Uh, it starts about 3 p.m. on the Saturday, and you'll probably be on around half seven time, I think. Uh, also, you can catch him in Leeds uh, in July for the Goth City Festival. And Zeitgeist Zero, if you want to catch them, they're playing Leeds this weekend at Carpe Noctum, so you can have your first taste of them on that day. Uh, that's at the Lending Library in Hyde Park of Leeds so that's something to look for I'll uh, probably put a poster for them on later but uh, right uh, let's have a bit of ghost signals now as uh, they're a fabulous band from Newcastle um, uh, who have had a lot of attention from BBC introducing and so forth so let's have a bit of ghost signals um, I'll find out what the name of the track is shortly as well because you need to know that sort of thing let's bring back the snake festival Quiet. and I'll shut up now Excuse my poor typing just then. So, Ghost Signals, Bag for Death, or A Bag for Death, that's what the track is. That was really good, wasn't it? You can see why they've had attention from uh, BBC Introducing. They very, very, very kindly agreed to open the Friday night on the uh, uh, 
festival they deserve so much better but the thing is i want to get people in there early so what better way than to put on something absolutely killer like ghost signals i played with them a couple of times before i think or at least once anyway uh, in newcastle gates it was gateshead i think i played with them i can't remember if i played with them before but i've been in touch uh, with rick lanning from ghost signals for quite a while um absolute great guy and his band is just really really good so um that's that's that really isn't it so friday night 16th of september uh, as the the poster suggests that's enlarge it again put it right over my face so you know there see i'm hidden uh, put it over the other side again all right there you go so look at all that we've got going off zeitgeist zero das fluff das fluff or something larissa larissa are also joining me for a celebration of susie on the uh, 27th of may in sheffield so let's have a bit of larissa and you can find out what's happening with them they've also had a lot of in uh, interest from BBC introducing so we'll have uh, parties by Larissa or Larissa um, from the BBC introducing session so uh, let's let's have that and first of all make the poster smaller yes they're playing just before Zeitgeist Zero on the Friday night Watch all my desires burn on in my mouth And I burn down all your walls And if you watch you play back over What only watch you play, what only watch you play and burn
they went down a storm apparently at Infest Festival in Bradford. So that's uh, uh, another reason you should go see them because they are very, very, very good. Someone you should absolutely see. And as you can see now, I've uh, put the poster up for the um, uh, festival, not festival, but the gig on the 27th of uh, May, which is Susie's birthday, hence happy birthday to Sue. Let's enlarge that for you and see a bit more of what that's all about. You see, uh, I, Susie is sort of my main inspiration in life. Obviously, you can also go to uh, jointhenightshift.uk and see more videos and things and more events that are happening. Uh, yeah, so being a Susie is my major inspiration in life. I thought it's, um, it's my passion to express my uh, admiration for what she's achieved over the years. So we're going to do a few Susie covers, a bit of our own music as well, DJing of goth and plenty of Susie in there as well and maybe some other things maybe some tracks that Susie likes and that sort of thing uh, because I find it just amazing the inspiration that Susie's been over the years so um, yeah, that's the 27th of May at Shakespeare's Gibraltar Street in um, uh, Sheffield so that will start at 8pm first live act probably around half eight nine o'clock time and then the other one uh, probably around 10 o'clock, something like that. Um, I think probably Larissa second on. So make sure you come see that. It's going to be £5 entry on the door. So uh, that's that. So what else have I got for you? Let's uh, put on a bit of Danielle Dax as, uh, you know, uh, she's who I've copied makeup-wise tonight. And the specific makeup... Uh, that I'm going to go f uh, that I've done is uh, based on her appearance when she did Pariah so let me just get that up for you my very Yorkshire up there up very Yorkshire you in the um, uh, in my speech I don't like to sound Yorkshire <laughs> so, but I do sadly um, right let's have Danielle Dax with Pariah so this is uh, what I base my makeup on. This was live at Riverside Studios.
So that's Daniel Dax Pariah. Um, yeah, so the Snake Festival, 16th, 17th of September in Cleethorpes. It's going to be a thoroughly excellent time indeed. Uh, not a place you'd normally associate with goth, uh, but, you know, goth goes to the seaside. Why not? And yes, first of all, though, most important thing right now, Leeds on the 21st of May. Uh, that's what I will leave you looking at now so thank you for joining me for this second episode of uh, Near Futurist TV uh, rather awkward sort of um, play on words there if you like so anyway uh, Shock and Roll Cabaret in Leeds Near Futurism meets Burlesque there you go there's the poster thing for it there's me on the left and uh, Rachel Dark on the right, Guru Honey Badger and John Doyle Band, Neo Futurism Meets Burlesque. You can read that. So ticketsource.co.uk slash songs of praise. And I hope to see plenty of people there. So that's it for tonight. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching everything that I've had to uh, show you. And until next time, maybe I'll do another one next week. Who knows? We'll see how that goes. Hopefully do um, uh, these live streams more often as they're quite fun, even when there's not so many people watching but uh, yes thank you for putting up with my somewhat garbled language sometimes right that's it uh good night and goodbye for now